A new realm has come to the Nexus, and with it, untapped power and a bitter feud for control. Realm Lords, factions, and heroes will stop at nothing to claim victory in the mountains of Alterac. Alterac Pass is a large three-lane battleground that hosts the familiar war cries of longtime rivals, the Horde and the Alliance, as they clash in the Nexus. Unlike traditional battlegrounds, Alterac Pass does not feature a structural core outside the Hall of Storms, but in its place stand the respective faction leaders for each side. General Vandar Stormpike for the Alliance, and General Drek'thar of the Frostwolf Clan for the Horde. Players must fight their way through traditional forts and keeps to find themselves face to face with their opposition's leader. If you want to claim victory, you'll have to bring them down. The generals carry with them a lot of the flavor and execution from their AV predecessors. Both will charge at incoming challengers, dealing damage, and follow with a whirlwind ability that damages all enemies in the area around them. Should you engage and find the need to retreat, the generals will leash back to their starting positions and begin to regenerate their health. Also note that for every keep your team manages to destroy, the enemy team's general will suffer a loss in armor. Positioned above and below the middle lane are two sets of prisoner camps that hold access to the battleground's central objective. Periodically, prisoners will spawn inside opposing camps guarded by prison defenders. Teams must invade enemy territory, take out the prison defenders, and free their captive while looking to ensure the enemy isn't successful at doing the same. After a brief channel on the enemy's capture cage, an escape sequence will initiate. If you can maintain control throughout the escape sequence, amidst the enemy team's defense, and any additional defender spawns, your prisoner will escape and your team will reap the objective reward. For teams that have lost control of their prison camp, a simple right-click on the capture cage will immediately stop progress of the escape sequence, but a full channel will be required to take it back. Taking the map objective on Alterac Pass will spawn a cavalry unit in each of your lanes. These mounted units will push into enemy territory and support allied players and minions with a damage and speed boosting aura in their proximity. This damage bonus will increase in strength for each subsequent objective completion across a game. Alongside the battleground objective, spread across Alterac Pass are two Knoll siege camps and two Ice Giant boss camps. The Knolls will push in a similar manner to the Hellbat siege camps on Braxis Holdout, providing a large health pool per unit and a cleave attack that applies a stacking armor debuff to anything it hits. The Ice Giants function similarly to the Grave Golems on Cursed Hollow, but utilize an Ice Shard ability that will damage and massively slow in an area. Specific to Alterac Pass are the addition of mud pits around the objective area. Be mindful of your positioning, as the longer you stand in these areas, the greater hit you'll take to your movement speed. If you must move through them, do so quickly and without threat of opposition. Lastly, should your team find success with the objective, do your best to push and fight alongside your cavalry. The buffs provided by these units hold the mainstay of value in their pushing power, so make the most of it. Due to the health regeneration mechanic on the generals, retreat isn't an effective option against them. Bolster your push for victory by executing an all-in with your cavalry and whatever mercs you can recruit. The horns of war echo inside the valleys of Alterac Pass. Will you join the Alliance in an effort to control this new realm? Or will you side with the Horde, just like every other barbarous, unkempt brute? We'll see you in the Nexus. For the Alliance! For the Horde!